Group live program right now, right here. If you're not watching it live, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon so that you can participate in live discussions about health topics, medical topics with Dr. Yeah. Gwen Vaughn. Hello. And Dr. Mark Vaughn. Thank you for joining Welcome. us. Welcome. And we also have a very special treat for our super chat users, which, yeah, that's going to be something. You. You'll find out when it happens. So Super Chat is going to be special today. <laughs> and also, we're very happy to welcome our channel members. This is kind of a new thing that YouTube has. And you can, in the description, find a link to become a member of the channel and join it. You can also do it on our web, not web page, but the, the home page that we have for the YouTube channel for the Auburn Medical Group. You can hit the little join thing. It's next to where you sign up to subscribe and also where you hit the bell icon so you get notifications. Sounds good. Are you but sure those, we're going? Just making sure. I'm, oh, yeah, look okay. at that. I see didn't it? see it come up on here, so I can't. Well, these people see it. Look at that. Okay. See it? Oh, oh there we go. Goodness, now it's look coming. at all these people. Now so we coming. didn't we didn't announce this one way ahead of time. In fact, it was kind of last minute that we finally agreed on kidney to be today's topic. Yeah. Uh, which actually is a favorite of Dr. Gwen, and in fact is a very big part of his blog. His blog today was about part of the kidney, right? Not very the kidney and whole. Part. Mm -hmm. I'd like to cover more than just oh sure that. There's, so there's so many great things to talk about. So with the kidneys. <laughs> did we have any comments on videos this week? We need to uh, address comments on videos. Yeah, I don't think we did either. <laughs> I mean, there were comments, but there always no, are. But no, nothing that, that really nothing jumped that. out is, ooh, that's that's quite a comment. Uh, also, the first, hello. Oh, we're saying hi to everybody. Well, yeah. Oh, well, absolutely, at least Laura, absolutely, we're Laura, because Laura joined the channel. She's a channel member, so Laura, yes, we are giving you special, special, special attention. We appreciate the rest of our viewers too. We do. We Rusty appreciate Bianca. All of you. Hello, Laura. Well. Yep, Bianca, welcome. And uh, the super chat people will get their own reward when that happens. <laughs> well, everybody else will enjoy it too, but yeah, yeah. Super chat will get right. That's get, right. get a special treat. We will see. Yeah. So, so uh, you wrote about the juxta glomerular apparatus, and I can say he it. He can say it. I can say it. I did. Yeah, it. the juxta glomerular apparatus. It's a uh, collection of cells, uh, small, you know, small area of cells within the nephron. Well, I guess we need to know what a nephron is before the we. Functional unit of the yeah, kidney. Yeah, that's right. So that is where everything happens to to essentially pull out the urine from your, so, from your blood. So let's what take a step Defron back does. and say, yeah, what, what does a kidney do? What does well, a kidney do? That's one of the big functions is make urine. Right. Yeah, that's one of the functions. Essentially. Pulling out urine, yeah. that's where all the everything that you pee out comes yeah. from your kidneys, and which is pulling it out of the blood, um, which contains a lot of water. Um, and then yeah. uh, so a few other things That's too it that contains. goes through the kidneys, uh, electrolytes, as well as urea, um, which is a by byproduct of um, protein breakdown. So it's taking out some trash. Trash, yeah, that's a good way to think of it. That's what the urea is. Yeah, yeah. A lot of our body is made out of certain types of proteins. Right. Some other things get in the kidneys too. Actually. If you've ever eaten asparagus. You know that. Which, well, n only certain people do. Not everybody knows. That's kind of, yeah, that's kind of weird. Yeah, Some not don't. everybody can smell it. Oh, not oh, look at that. We've got our, our, our emojis. Oh, emojis. Who's doing the emojis? Uh, Teresa and Laura. Oh, my goodness. They're both doing them. Yeah. Hello, Teresa. I didn't see that Hi, you were there. Hi, Teresa. Boy, you're welcome. here, too. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Excuse me while I play with this <clears> thing behind me. And the volume is better, there. Bianca says. Oh. Thanks for the feedback. Because well, yeah, we're in our actual studio. We're I not, actually made an effort at that. Oh, because of when we were in the yeah, we exam were, room. It yeah. was a, uh, audible that time. Yeah, yeah, I know. Um, we're working on it. We're always trying to improve the technical quality, production quality. We're also trying to improve the content quality, which I, yeah. I have to give a big thanks to Dr. Gwen. He contributes so much to the content. Do it again. So I do really appreciate that uh, with your article on the juxtaglomerular yep. apparatus helping with that. Right. So you talked about a little bit of the excretory so, function right. of the kidney. Its job is to make the urine make to urine. take out some trash. Right. Different from another excretory part of the body that takes out other bad stuff. Right. And that would be the digestive system that takes out kind of well, essentially stuff of bacteria that you, mostly. Yeah, bacteria and stuff you don't absorb um, and fluid. And also well. whatever. Now, you have a two organs that really do this job of filtering blood, so to speak. 
and taking what it takes out of the blood and getting it out of the body. One mm-hmm. of them's the liver, yep. and the other one's the kidney. And they, it's it's kind of interesting. We have two different systems for it that take out different stuff. And when the liver does it, it delivers it through the bile duct into the intestines, and then it goes out yep. with the rest of your excrement. But but the kidneys, the kidneys also have another job. They do. You're right. Um, so there are. Uh, cells within the kidney that actually help control blood pressure. Yeah. That's kind of one of the big ones. Oh. And, hey, look who's also, calling. Also, hey. We, we have a call. Sorry to interrupt. We have a call. call. Excellent. We love getting calls. So let's see what this person thinks when they find out they're on YouTube. <laughs> He's going to love it. Hello, this is Dr. Mark Vaughn and Dr. Gwaine Vaughn, and we are live on YouTube. What is your name, caller? Fred. Fred. <laughs> Fred, what is your medical question? Well, um... I've got this itch, and uh, <laughs> I can't, can't quite reach it. And and I was wondering if it's safe to to, to scratch that um, on the corner of, uh, of the house. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it depends on where that house has been, <laughs> or who else has been scratching well, there. Question number it, one: It's a brick you... house, and sometimes it cuts me. <laughs> oh. Oh, that yeah. Sounds, that sounds miserable. Maybe, maybe we should come up with another option. Do you, do you, do you, I can't read it. <laughs> do you have maybe a wall inside the house where you could... Um, yeah, they're all smooth. <laughs> they're all smooth. <laughs> he has no, no corners in his house. They're all smooth. You know, they're all bull nose. In these stupid houses nowadays, all have round corners. <laughs> That's right. Why do they make round corners? Round corners and what, houses. We can't scratch our backs anymore. <laughs> um, there are some commercial products. Uh, usually they're called back scratchers. That That's an option. Um, but you don't have to spend money for it. You can probably find... Oh, well, um, we have the this... The problem I found with those is they're all telescopic, and you put it on the spot, and it just goes in and out instead of scratching. <laughs> He's moving his arm, but no scratching. <laughs> Well, um, I think if they made them a little bit tighter, then maybe they'd stay out. <laughs> I, yeah. Um, rake. <laughs> oh, a, a friend. Dale, there you go. Do you, do you have any family? Phone a friend. Fred. Well, I do, but they're always busy. <laughs> I'm so I, sorry. I, I mean, they're always doing something like a podcast or something. <laughs> I can, I can never talk to him about anything. <laughs> oh, man. Is, was, was there also another medical question that would be really helpful for me to answer now? Oh, yeah. Um, my mom has been having some severe chest pain once in a while. She had a bunch of morphine yesterday. And today she has very labored. It's like she'll exhale, and you can almost count to three before she inhales. And she's awake. When did she last have the no, morphine? No, she's been she's been very she's been asleep, and she's really, you know, been out of it all day. Did she have any morphine today? No. Hmm. Um, None today. And when she breathes, it's like a her chest kind of jumps to to breathe. So I I would call it labored. Okay. So real heavy, like uh, slow respiratory rate. Pauses between taking the next breath. Yes. Like um, exhale. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, inhale. Oh, that'd be a respiratory rate of. Well, that's still a respiratory rate of around twenty. Yeah. No, that's that's not necessarily too sh- slow of a respiratory rate. Um, well, if it's five seconds or And when she's seconds, awake, like does 10. she say that she feels short of breath at all? I, I don't know. I, I haven't seen her awake oh, today, okay. but she's right. been really, really weak as far as, uh, yeah. you know, getting around. Have to use a wheelchair to get her to the bathroom. Oh. Um, can't can't use a uh, walker. She cannot uh, stand up with a walker right now. Okay. Um, and do you know what the oxygen is set to, or is she using the oxygen today? Is using oxygen and it's set at. Let me see. It may still be a two. Maybe I need to move it up to four or something. Okay. What's the number here? Right on. What's your oxygen level? 
Because if you're we don't have a pulse oximeter. If it's too high, then you may be slowing down. Oh, there it is. Anything. It's possible. Yeah, it's at two. It looks like. So yeah, just, um, unless we had a, about four. Unless we had a pulse oximeter showing that she was hypoxic. Um, Dr. Gwen makes a very good point that we could actually be giving too much oxygen, and so she doesn't have a drive, you know, when... Oh, to breathe, breathe on her own? Yeah. I see what you're saying. Yeah. So... Well, what, um, what would you recommend doing then? Probably waking her up and seeing if she actually feels short of breath. Um, and if she does, go ahead and turn up the, the oxygen to the four. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then if, if there is an availability of a nurse that could just look in on that, if, uh, unless she's fine when she wakes up. Yeah. Okay. And she, she had her sponge bath today while sitting down because she could not stand in the shower at all. Oh, so. well, okay. And I'll call you back after the show, too. Okay. All right. Sounds good. All right, Enjoy thanks your for show. Me. Yeah, thanks, Fred. And, and I hope you find a way I can take care of this itch. <laughs> We are going to work on that. Okay. All right. Maybe maybe, maybe some of that cortisone or something. <laughs> okay. Cortisone. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for calling. <laughs> well, he hasn't hung up yet. Oh, there we go. Okay. So we, we got a call. We from did. Fred. From Fred. <laughs> Fred with the back itch. That, yeah. Can't reach it. All right. <laughs> uh, sorry for that. Uh, <laughs> off-topic uh, call, but hey, that's what we do. You guys have questions, we, we answer the question. And uh, the number is in the description for calling with yeah, specific questions. Call. We are available for that. And also, Super Chat, and anything we need caught up on before we jump no, back into kidneys. No, people thought that Fred was a joke. Initially. That's what they thought. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Much of Anyways, it was, The yes. kidneys. Yes. Back to the kidneys. So uh, we talked about it's different from the liver in that it has this other function Right. Well, it's different even a couple in the other, other A functions. couple other functions. So we talked about blood pressure. It, it helps, helps control, regulate blood pressure. Regulate blood pressure. It also produces a, that while you talk. a chemical that uh, helps with blood production yeah. um, called erythropoietin. So the kidneys are very important in a lot of different functions in the body. So the way it um, uh, uh, affects blood pressure is through this um, system called the RAS system, R-A-A-S, which stands for Renin Angiotensin Aldosterone System. And that's just a, a feedback loop that it has. It's pretty neat how it works, actually. Um, it's amazing. Yeah, yeah. That's, it's, that's the title of the show. Right, yeah. It's, it's just uh, so amazing that, that your kidneys have this feedback mechanism um, that, that helps uh, regulate blood pressure. So, so there are these um, arteries that go to the kidneys uh, called the afferent arteries. Afferent just means coming in. Um, and it's able to sense the blood pressure coming in to the kidneys, and then as a result, if if you're not if the blood pressure is not high enough, it sends this feedback mechanism, this RAS system, it sends it and it actually dilates that artery. And um, well, it doesn't sorry, it doesn't dilate that artery. It constricts arteries to in increase blood flow, and it increases flow to that kidney. It's pretty amazing um, because the kidneys are kind of selfish. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. They want that blood was, flow. That's fun. Did did uh, my teachers in um, uh, med school would always say that the kidneys are selfish and they're always going to think about themselves and nobody else. Yeah. So so they do that, and and sometimes that's at the expense of other things because they're increasing increasing blood pressure, right? So that can be harder on the heart. And actually, there are medications that we have that work to disrupt this feedback um, or this this RAS system. Uh, and, and some of those you've probably heard of, like lisinopril or the category of ACE inhibitors. And then also um, Losartan, uh, those are the common ones we use, the generic ones. Which is a different class. Which is different, but still works on that, um, that loop, uh, yeah. that feedback loop. Which stuff. actually are becoming some of the most popular blood yeah. pressure medicines we use because they don't have a lot of side effects like They're older blood pressure safe, medicines. Yeah. And they have added benefits of protecting kidneys. Right. Yeah. Over. And they help protect your heart, too. Yeah. Yes. Um, there are some very good studies that show after heart attacks, ACE inhibitors... Will help, yeah. or, and, and it, or if somebody has a heart failure, or people in yeah congestive heart failure, I was just going to yeah, say that. that they do better with the ACE inhibitor. Yeah, so so um, yeah, very important. Uh, so that's just one of the, this juxtaglomerular apparatus. I couldn't say that time, uh, but it's in this area where it's able to sense different areas, um, and then there's other cells that are that help with the excretion rate. So they help with your fluid balance within your in your body, which is very important. 
Um, it's pretty amazing how um, it, most of us don't get swelling in our legs or don't yeah. get fluid in our lungs because our fluid is so well regulated with our kidneys. If we drink a bunch of water, our kidneys are going to be able to flush that out and get it out of our systems before it starts to collect in those areas. That's right. Pretty amazing. It, so, it, it yeah. adjusts on the fly yeah. according to the demands right there, real and then, time. On, on the latter side, if they're not working well, if you have kidney failure, it, it can be bad, disastrous. Yeah, yeah, yeah you can start so. to, um, you know, you need to go on dialysis, yeah. which is actually pretty neat that, that the way that they've made these external kidneys that can filter your blood and yeah. pull out the fluid. It's, it's just amazing. Kidney in a cabinet. Essentially, yeah, that's what, uh, that's what dialysis is. Um, yeah. So, yeah, pretty, pretty amazing. So, kidneys are so amazing. There's, there's right. ways that if people have a little bit of decreased function in their kidneys, which we often see on routine testing, because we're always Very testing common. for that in people with high blood pressure, Very for example, common, yeah. other people mm -hmm. too, but that's one group that we often are, and people with diabetes. And if we start to see, excuse me, if we start to see a little reduction in the function of their kidney, we can start to give advice like start drinking more fluids. That's number one. And Always help. drink more fluids. If somebody else is calling. What? Look at this. We got Two another call. calls in one day? Should we take this call? Let's take this call. Let's see what happens. I don't know that number. Hello, you're on our YouTube program of the Auburn Medical Group. Hello? Yes, you're our caller. You are on YouTube. Uh, what medical oh. question do you have for us? Uh, this is Jeff at Auburn Tire. Oh, it's hey. Jeff at Auburn Tire. Hi, Jeff. You're on our show. <laughs> okay. Appreciate it. And I bet I you're calling because the car's ready. I was checking to see if you folks were going to pick it up tonight, yes. Yeah, yeah, we're going to have somebody there very shortly. I, I thank you for calling. Thanks for being on the show. <laughs> no problem, anytime. Okay. We're here till 530. Okay, that's great to know. <laughs> Thanks, Jeff. It's oh, wasn't just, that great? Wow. Jeff called from Auburn Tire. Hey, Jeff, thanks for <laughs> giving us an update. Your car's ready. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this has been an interesting... Uh, Show for calls. Oh, other things for yeah. uh, taking care of your kidneys. Drinking plenty of fluids Luck. and avoiding things that bother the kidneys, like non steroidal anti inflammatory medicines anti and ibuprofen. Well, sorry, that includes ibuprofen <laughs> and naproxen, um, Advil, Advil, Naproxen, Naproxen ketoprofen. All the, all names. Yes. Um, Tylenol is okay. So Tylenol, Tylenol is the exception. Acetaminophen, the generic name of Tylenol. That is not bad on the or kidneys. Or paracetamol if you're over. If you're overseas, paracetamol, yeah. yeah. And uh, then something else that we should be avoiding. Phosphoric acid. Phosphoric acid yeah. is in those dark colas like Coke, Pepsi, Diet Coke, Diet Pepsi, some other things if you look on the labels. Another reason soda is bad for you. Another reason. Yeah. So many... Or if your diabetes is uncontrolled and you're... <laughs> <laughs> that'll be hard. Bad. A lot of people don't know that a lot of root beers don't contain phosphoric acid. That's right. Some do. All the clear sodas and orange sodas, those don't either. And, and but some root beers. So yeah. a reason yeah. that those root beer drinkers... A little better. A little still more lot, reason. Still lots of sugar in that. <laughs> still a lot of sugar, though. <laughs> so uh, Diabetes we, in a can. we got to get caught up on some questions here. Oh, I'm sorry. So well, let's get I'm to your questions. I'm on blood pressure meds. Does that mean I have a problem with my kidney? Not necessarily. Um, we use the kidney feedback mechanism to treat a lot of medications. It looks like that's, that's right. Laura, and she's taking lisinopril, and that is the medication. Yeah. Um, that does not mean that something's wrong with your kidneys. Correct. Um, that actually, lisinopril is a good choice because that's going to help protect your kidneys from your high blood pressure. High blood pressure can be due to a lot of things. Yeah, you um, The kidneys is only one of those um, reasons. Uh, art atherosclerosis can be a reason for high blood pressure. Um, heart uh, problems where your heart's beating a little harder. So, yeah, Laura's um, saying she takes lisinopril 40 milligrams once a day. Right. Yep. And which then is the maximum on, dose. Oh, somebody's on bu, bumetanide. Is that a... Uh, that is that, yeah, a loop diuretic. Yeah, loop diuretic. Yeah, besides Bumex. Lasix, yeah, yep. Bumex. Um, so, so there are uh, medications that we have called diuretics. Uh, they, they work on the kidney, that, too. That work on the kidney. Um, and they essentially, I, I just tell people they throw a wrench in this whole mechanism and just make you... A, actually lose some electrolytes and as you lose those electrolytes specifically sodium it pulls fluid along with it and um you make you, know, you make the diuretics sound bad throws they, they work really well yeah well in, in it throws a wrench in the normal function of your kidneys yeah. 
to help us out get fluid off your body. <laughs> but they can be very helpful. They can. If but, you have like so you make a good point that, that we need to monitor them. Yeah, and because of that, we do watch your kidneys very closely yeah. when you're on those types of medications. Checking the metabolic panel, yep. looking at creatinine and your electrolytes, which includes sodium and potassium and chloride. Yeah. Oh, somebody says they're on the opposite blood pressure type of medications, ones that increase your blood pressure, Midodrin and Florinef. Why why are you yeah, on those? Pots. You she has pots. That's the reason Postural, you have Postural, orthostatic. Yes. You're the exception. Most people syndrome. have too high of a blood pressure. Uh, that's kind of a unique situation. Somebody right. does that. Pretty rare. Yeah. I, I yeah. think I've had two patients have POTS in my yeah. whole and, uh, career. Strangely enough, we actually give them medicine to increase blood pressure. Yeah. And yeah. they do not work on the kidneys but to increase blood pressure. I don't no. believe so. I think they work directly on the vessels. To well, and the them. adrenals, too. Oh, yeah. The adrenals. Yeah. The floor enough, yeah, on the adrenals, but yeah. some of the other ones too. That, that's interesting. Constrict vessels. Yeah. Okay. So, um, um, super chat is still open. <laughs> Don't know why I put my hand up all of a sudden. We really want to see this thing work, yeah. so that's why we keep saying super chat. Yeah, you can do it. You, come can, on. you can see what happens if you. Somebody said they wanted to see it work, but then they didn't do it. Oh so. man. Yeah. Oh well. And, yeah. and also, we do encourage you to become members so you can be noticed, like Laura and who, who else? It was Laura oh, and. Sorry. Scroll. Scroll. It was Laura, Teresa. Laura and Teresa. Yes, thank you, Laura and Teresa, for doing that. And we also thank other people, too, uh, who not necessarily do it through yes. joining the channel, but, but through, through Patreon. Patreon. And through you Patreon. you thank... Uh, Boo Boo Kitty. Thank and, you. Appreciate and, it. And I thank Lindsay Antwine, who yeah. also is helping to make this come to you, yeah. this, this programming, because uh, it's fun, and people <laughs> like to watch it and be a part of it and have their name in it. So yeah. we're glad to have you do that. Should and we wrap ads? up? Well, is, do we miss anything about the kidneys? Take care of them. Please, <laughs> take, take, care, care, of take care of your kidneys. It is really nice that you get two of them, though. That's really cool. That's right. I mean, there's like people you walking around. You can give one away if somebody Some else do. needs one. Yeah. yeah. And, and I actually have somebody that I, that I just got a whole bunch of blood work, well, re recommendations for blood work, who's going to be getting a transplant. Yeah. From a live donor or? Um, I think it's cadaver donor. Okay. Yeah, his wife was trying to, but they're not a and, match. And speaking of which, I would like to encourage our viewers. Oh! To a new member. A new member? Welcome, Bianca. Is it Bianca Dai? Or a different it, Bianca? Um, I don't know which Bianca. Just well, that's pretty welcome. awesome. Whoa. And you also have a text message. Can I, you use that for I, the show? I do, for my brother. I don't even know what that's regarding. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what was I just saying? Um, that's yeah. not what you're supposed to say on a live program. Welcome, Bianca. Cool. Yes, we absolutely want. Oh, I want to encourage everybody to designate themselves as an organ donor because yeah. somebody else might be able to use your kidney and if you don't donate it, it's just gonna go to waste. Truly. It really yeah. is. Um, the, and I, I won't get into the whole argument about being able to sell them that some conservative members of our family are upset that they can't sell them. <laughs> I, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. just not the way we do it in our country, so. <laughs> it, for good or bad or right or wrong. I it's did it. Not the way it's I think Bianca was thinking that do, becoming a member would do the... Oh, uh, it should. It should, it should, though. It should? Why is it, it should? Not, what? Becoming a new member should do it. Let's see. What? Let's see. <laughs> What's it, going on? Give me a moment. Bianca's an organ donor. Let's, let's... We appreciate that. Okay! Yay! Member! <laughs> Why didn't it work? Well, it's because it's not programmed like the... Oh. We hey! Hey! We need. We thank, need. Thank you, like, Bianca. This is celebrating Bianca becoming a member. Yeah. There we go. There we okay, go. Okay. So now you've seen it. <laughs> and if somebody does a super it works. chat, yeah, and yeah. that's what happens if you do super chat. Yeah. Okay. So well, we need to make sure that happens if we get new members. We need, Thanks, Bianca. We that's all for you. Thank you, Bianca. Thank you, Lindsay Antoine. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, people who commented. Thank you, Fred. And thank you. Who was it from Auburn Trial? I forgot his name already. Bob, Steve, Tim, no. Jeff, Jerry. Could have been a job. Anyway, Albert Tire, thank Thanks, you. Thanks, Albert Tire. Until next time, I'm Dr. Quaid Vaughn. Dr. Mark Vaughn telling you to stay in good health. And we're off.